Today I'm testing out Windows versus Steam OS on the Steam Deck to see which operating system performs better. So I've actually done this before with some basic settings. I didn't optimize either of the operating systems and Windows did outperform Steam OS on a couple of games. But that was months ago, both have been updated and a lot has changed. So for today's video, I did optimize Windows by maxing the VRAM usage, put it into game mode and made sure every driver was up to date. With Steam, I ran Proton GE for most games or Proton Experimental. I also made sure both games had exact graphics settings and the Steam Deck was plugged in the entire time while testing these games. The five games you're gonna see tests from today are Apex Legends, Seven Days to Die, Minecraft, GTA 5, and Doom Eternal. So let's get into the tests. So for the first game I tested, it was gonna be Seven Days to Die. These are the settings I used. And last time I tested this, Windows blew it out of the water. On SteamOS, it looked horrible, had huge lag spikes, and it was very obvious it was performing worse than Windows. When I revisited this game, that was not the case. SteamOS to me felt like it performed better, had less stuttering, and even looked better this time around. In this video, you will notice the screen tearing, but SteamOS did not have screen tearing that I could notice like Windows did. FPS wise, they stayed around each other and averaged around 40 FPS in heavy areas of the map. SteamOS actually had a little higher FPS in some areas while Windows did not. So going back to seven days that I revisiting this, to me, SteamOS is the clear winner here. Now it's time to check out some Minecraft. These are the settings I used for Minecraft. So this time around, Minecraft is actually accessible on the deck without a third party software like PolyMC, which isn't even on the Discover page anymore. But the big question is how well does Minecraft perform on the Steam Deck? Well, the answer is it performs amazing. Not only was it averaging almost 100 FPS more than Windows, it felt way smoother on SteamOS than it did on Windows. A lot of times Minecraft on Windows would feel stuttery and it honestly looked a little bit more grainy than it did on SteamOS. On SteamOS, even though you can see some FPS drops, I couldn't feel them. It looked like it was playing smooth and it felt like it was playing smooth. I don't know if you can see it look wise, but I felt like SteamOS did look better than Windows. So again, SteamOS wins this comparison. Next up is GTA 5. When testing GTA 5, I use these settings on both operating systems. Now GTA is the odd one out of the bunch because GTA 5 on Windows and Steam performed exactly the same. Exact same FPS averages, similar lows and highs. They looked identical as well while I was playing the game. Both played smooth with no stutters that I could feel while playing. So GTA 5 is equal on both systems. Next up on the chopping block is Doom Eternal. And these are the graphics settings I used for both systems. Doom Eternal was another game that played almost identical on both systems. Doom played smooth on Windows, just like it did on Steam OS. Not only that, both operating systems looked identical and I had no huge lag spikes on either one. But I will say I'm gonna have to give it to Steam OS. It did take the W because it had five to 10 more average FPS than Windows. So Steam OS again reigns supreme. However, the last test is the black sheep out of the bunch. Apex Legends was my last game I tested and I used these graphics settings for both Steam OS and Windows. So the reason I say this one is the black sheep is mainly due to the fact that I could not for the life of me get Apex to run smooth on Steam OS. This was very confusing to me because Apex is a verified game on Steam and it was experiencing huge FPS drops in game and would stutter a lot. I tried everything to fix this. I reinstalled this game three times. I even thought maybe it was my recording software Elgato that was causing this and nope, I unplugged it and it was still doing it. And the reason I thought it was my Elgato capture card is because it's done similar things to games on the Steam Deck in the past. I even tried with a charger, without a charger, different Proton versions and nothing would work. I don't know if it was because of the recent update with a new map that came out, but for me, I could not get this game to work properly no matter what I tried on the Steam Deck. So on this one, I'm gonna have to give Windows the W. Because on Windows, this game played amazing, it looked great, I had no issues at all. And again, it was super weird that this was happening and I'm still puzzled by this since before I've tested this game, it ran perfectly smooth on Steam and even outperformed Windows. So after testing these games months ago to testing them now, I can safely say that Steam is doing an amazing job updating the deck. 
before I had to download a third party launch for Minecraft. Seven Days to Die looked absolutely horrendous and could barely play. Now everything I'm testing, besides Apex, which was weird, is playing amazing. So anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. And if you would like to see more of this, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.